The most renowned auto show in North America opened with drama, glamour, and muscle cars descending from above. Automakers rolled out buzzworthy new models, including Cadillac's XT6 Utility, Kia's Telluride, and Ford's Shelby Mustang GT500, the fastest street legal Ford on the road. There were concept cars that might one day hit the road, like the Infiniti QX Inspiration and the Lexus LC Convertible. But the mood among the automakers at the 2019 North American International Auto Show in Detroit is somewhat somber. Global auto sales, which boomed from 2010 to 2016, have slowed. GM is closing plants, Ford is partnering with VW to make its cars in Europe, and sales in China have plummeted amid a U.S. trade war. Perhaps a contraction in the overall number of vehicles that they sell, but they're shifting their production process toward producing more trucks and less sedans. And while some automakers brought the drama, there are fewer of them here this year. BMW, Mercedes, Volvo, Porsche, Jaguar, and Land Rover are all skipping the event this year, opting to reveal new models online or at their own events instead. Their exodus has left room for other lights to shine. And the winner is the Genesis G70. This may be known as the year when Korean cars really came into their own. Hyundai's Kona won Utility of the Year, and this is the car of the year, the G70 by Genesis. Priced between thirty dollars and $50,000, this car competes with entry-level BMWs and Mercedes, showing that Korea is now in the sports car market. The North American Truck of the Year is the Ram 1500. As sedan sales slow and U.S. manufacturers retool to make electric and autonomous cars, sport utility and truck sales remain strong, including Fiat Chrysler's massive Ram 1500, the truck of the year. We're very happy with the performance that we had in, in 2018. And now with this new pickup truck here, this new heavy duty, we're looking for even better things in 2019. But amid the celebration in the Motor City, Automakers here are fretting over forecasts that consumers will hit the brakes on new car sales in 2019. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Detroit.